So I'm going to start by talking about this app called Tat Surgery. This is such a cool app and it's free as well. When I first got it, it had very limited number of procedures, but now it has a whole lot of content. So you can go to the search tab and look for procedures related to any subspecialty in surgery like emergency medicine, neurosurgery, ENT surgeries, and you can also search according to alphabetical order. So let's take an example here. I am going to search for hernia and as you can see there are so many options in the search result. So we'll start with the basic hernia surgical anatomy and here you can see that we can first learn about it and then consequently uh, test ourselves. So it's the same with the procedural videos. We can first learn it and then test ourselves. It includes both real life and animated pictures. It recently introduced a tab called My Surgeries where you can upload your own videos and be a part of a global surgical community as well. So another app that has been like a bread and butter for me from final year or even third year onwards is the SlideShare app. I know this is something that a lot of people already know about. SlideShare is basically just what the app says. It is sharing slides. It's a presentation app. So you can upload your own presentations or you can save presentations which have been made by other users of the app. This is great to learn topics in medicine, especially especially before exams. When you don't want to go through that vast book knowledge, you can have like really condensed uh, concentrated knowledge here in which people make brilliant presentations and we have access to all of it, which I think is great. It's very easy to use. You can save whatever you like. You can take ideas for your own presentations and it's free. You can upload your own stuff and you can save whatever you like. So you can go through umpteen number of topics. Uh, it's not just like a healthcare thing, but I think it's great for doctors and medical students to use. So, yeah, so another app that I really want to talk about is this app called Forest App. This is not really a medical app, but it's a productivity app which helped me increase my productivity almost tenfold. Guys, I'm not kidding. If you are a highly distracted creature and you cannot concentrate on studying or you find it very difficult to organize your time, this is the app to get. If you hadn't haven't already heard about the Pomodoro technique, please read about it. It's a very basic technique in which you can split your work into 25 minutes and take a five minute break followed by that. And you do this four times and then you take a longer break. So anyhow, in this app, you can plant trees as you're working or studying. And that will finally go into your forest uh, where, wherein you can see how, what you've planted and how productive your day has been. So in this, you can see that my 2020 year was pretty productive. I use this app only for studying, but you can use it even while you're working or researching. It's up to you. And uh, also you can, every time you plant a tree, you get coins, as you can see on top by that yellow thing. With those coins, you can buy newer plants. I've un unlocked a lot of plants over the past year. So it's even more like fun when you get to do this. It's kind of motivating for me. I don't know, maybe it'll work for you guys as well. So uh, I think this is a great app to generally like use for productivity. There's also a new option for uh, called group study in which you can plan together with friends, which is also great if you want to do group study and all of you have the same app. So that's it, guys. I think this is a great option for timing and for productivity. It's a free app on Android. And on Apple, I think it's a 50 rupee one-time payment. Oh, and there's also a deep focus mode. If you are very, very distracted and you don't want to leave the app or you think you're going to keep going to social media, you can switch on the deep focus mode. If your deep focus mode is on and you leave the app, your tree basically gets withered when you leave the app. But if you're using your phone to study, then you can switch it off and you can actually leave the app as well and your tree won't die. So another f app that I find really great for like a daily use is this app called Daily Rounds. So in this app, anyone can post doubts, pictures or any kind of discussion and that will be responded to in the discussion section by other healthcare professionals 
and it will help us learn and come to like a diagnosis about whatever the picture it is that they have posted that picture can range from any dermatological pictures or x-rays or ct scans you name it a lot of ecgs a lot of rare cases which people post and it's very interesting it Uh, the app themselves they post about fda approval of various new drugs it posts about uh, all the important dates in medicine all it posts about all the kind of updates that you can think of and like for example they've posted about this new drug which is used in patients with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia so this is a very good knowledge for everyone to have especially Uh, as a continued medical education so they have separate sections like they have an ecg section which is really cool and then they have a cme section for various topics and then they also have a guide in which they've categorized it by subjects in medicine which is also very easy to use and guys this is a free app so i think this is a great uh, app for every medical professional to have in their phone so guys i have one final app that i want to share with you and hear me out this is not a free app but it's worth every penny you'll spend on it it's called atlas so my only regret is not knowing about this app sooner i found out about it only in final year i think i paid around rupees 1000 for it at that time while it was on a new year sale it's only a one time investment and you get to have it forever so there's no need to pay it every year So this app is basically a virtual atlas. We don't have the trouble of carrying around a huge book and we can go through various systems of the body. So I'm just going to show you around a bit. This is how it is. There's a skeletal system and various other systems like nervous, respiratory, muscular views. So in here you can basically do whatever you do in a dissection hall. You can take off any part. You can introduce any part, you can learn about any part of the body. you have even paid videos some free videos but some paid videos which you have to pay extra for which i don't i don't think it's necessary in this atlas we have quizzes on every part of the body so after you've learned about every part you can quiz yourself on it and then uh i'm just going to show you like uh an example so if this this is a shoulder joint view that i had saved so you can press on any ligament and it will tell you about it you can read about it and you can find the diseases related to that part like if there's any disease related to that part like for example if i choose humerus there's like dislocations fractures and all of that which is a part of disease and you can read it out you can make the app read it out for you as well so another cool really cool thing that is here is basically the augmented reality that means if you're studying in a group this can be so much fun you can find a surface and sort of just uh put a skeleton there and explain it to the whole class or explain it to the whole group which is a lot of fun for group learning so i think guys this app is every it's worth every penny it's got this option for note cards and then it's got various views you can even you can un, you can take off anything you can basically do whatever you want with it and it's it's really fun to just play around with it makes anatomy it makes surgery and everything so much more fun so i would really encourage you to invest in this app if you can If you guys like that video please give this video a like subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my social media platforms where I share daily medical content so that's about it i hope all you wonderful people have an amazing day and i'll see you for my next video